everyone, James Mansell here bringing you yet another video. Coming to you live from my home. And what I mean by that is, I thought, should I set everything up and then I thought, I don't feel like it. Hashtag, queen of relatability. Now, I'm gonna show you a really simple hairstyling technique. It's called a beehive, or a bouffant, or just big hair. Big hair that's full that you don't have to do much to. It's a good look and super easy to do and I'm gonna show you how to do it. But first, let's go through a list of things you're gonna need for this. Two types of hairspray. I use a glue spray and a wet spray. I use Gothby glued and Pump It Up Gold. My usuals. And one, two, three kinds of combs or brushes. I'm using a teasing brush, a brush, and a regular old rat tail comb with a pick at the end. And some supplies to secure the wig down to the head. I'm using some straight pins and some bias. And the P.S. de la Resistance, bobby pins, extra long ones. These are the superstar product of this tutorial. And of course, you're gonna need a wig. This wig, in fact, is the pink wig I wore in my How to Style Body Waves tutorial. So if you did that hairstyle and it's starting to get a little rotted, as you can see, like she's kind of lost a lot of her jazz, this is the perfect hairstyle to do to kind of add some oomph back up to an old hairstyle. And you only have to reset it because the curling pattern's already set into it if you've already done it. It's the exact same curling pattern I did in that tutorial. I'll link it down below. Okay, I'm gonna get started, but first things first, I had to take these gloves off because it's gonna be impossible to tease hair with fake nails on. <gasps> oh no! I'm doing a burlesque show for you in my own bedroom. Da da da! Da da da! Da! <laughs> okay, let's get started. As you can tell, this was already a really pretty hairstyle. So what we're gonna do first is secure the wig down. I got a long little pin. You don't necessarily need this. If you have the pins in front, it's fine too, but I just like to put that in there just to be safe. We're gonna take our bias, and we're gonna secure the hairline down because we're gonna do a lot of teasing and a lot of intense teasing, so it's gonna move the hair around a lot, and you don't want the sides all popping up. So it's gonna grab that bias and put it along the lace. And for bias, you could just use scrap fabric, a shoelace, anything works. Or you get super duper fancy and get actual lace tape for wigs, but we don't have that around here, so Joanne Fabric Scraps is what it's gonna be. All right, there you go, nothing too fancy. Now, a little thing I started doing that's actually made a world difference in doing this kind of hairstyle is I take some extra pins and where this bias ends, you see the lace ends right here, we're just gonna keep going a few more inches. That way it just adds a little extra security for when you're teasing it around, it doesn't all pop up. Do that to the other side as well. Okay, she's secured down. Let's start teasing it. Grabbing a teasing comb, I'm gonna start in small sections again. And from this hairstyle, there should already be some teasing in it, so you don't have to do a whole lot to it. And just start jacking the hair up in small sections at a time. You don't have to do it too hard because like I said before, there's already teasing in it. And for this, what I do is I tease it upward more. Maneuvering that teasing exactly where I want it to go. Here, I'll show you on this piece. My wrist motion is flicking upward and going out. And you could, of course, do this to a brand new wig as well. That's also an option. Because what we're doing right now is sort of a French twist on both sides. And just tease up that bottom too. Okay, now as you can see here, we have half up teased and half down. What you could do is you could go the whole Laura Lynn country singer route and do a half French twist with half up and half down. That's an option, but what I'm gonna do is do the full enchilada and give us a full on beehive. So we're gonna work on the other side now. I'm gonna separate the bang because that's a whole nother piece. And just start doing all around this base here. Just lightly packing that hair in. Okay, now we have our whole head teased. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start smoothing it backwards to create the French twist. So, I'm gonna take the teasing brush now, and what we're going to do here is just pull the wig and hold it securely. This is where this is gonna come in handy, the whole bias tape. We're just gonna smooth it back. You can throw your bang to the other side too. We don't need it right now. And just brush over it gently. And what we're doing here is we're not pulling out the teasing, we're just creating a barrier of top hair here to hold all that teasing in. Go all the way down to the nape of the head too. 
and let your brush just go all the way through it. All right, now let's start pinning it. Get yourself a good handful of bobby pins and we're gonna start securing down the hair. All right, we're smoothing that section backwards. And in the back of the head, we're gonna tap down that smoothed out section. So get a tight grip on it. Take some bobby pins and really hook her down. Take another one and go crisscross. There we are, that's the first step. Now we're gonna keep doing that all around. Take another section, smooth it, try and join it with the other two. If it overlaps, that's fine, because we're gonna go with, through with a lot of bobby pins. All right, we got that section again, hold it. More bobby pins from the cleavage. There we are. Let's do another section. Getting closer and closer to the nape of the neck. And crisscross. Perfecto. Let's do the very back. Now, this is where it can get a little tricky. We get to the very bottom of the wig. We're going to use a lot more bobby pins than before. And with this hairstyle, don't shy away from using a lot of bobby pins. The more bobby pins, the more secure it's going to be. See, I'm doubling up, tripling up with bobby pins going one way. And we're going to go through and do the same amount going the other way to really lock that in place. As you can see, it's a big old ugly mess of bobby pins going down here. But it's fine because the way this hairstyle is done, it's gonna cover all of that. Now, what I like to do to cheat height from one wig is I take this top portion and I smooth it out a little bit. This is sort of a fantasy pin here because there's not a whole lot of hair here to support this. You're gonna take a pin and pin it down through the teasing. And what that does is that it forces the teasing upward. Now, it doesn't look like much from this side, but trust me, when we do the other side and join it, it's gonna get even bigger. Okay, so like I said before, we have sort of a half up, half down moment. This is totally a hairstyle you could do too. You take your brush and th go through it and smooth it out and get the curl texture back, and then just fold a little over here to get the hairstyle covering the pins. But we're not doing that today. We're gonna do a full beehive. So what I'm going to do now is switch sides because it's just easier for me to do that from this side. Throw our bang out of the way and just start smoothing her out again. Now my friend Dixie Cup likes to call this the butt bun because the back of it looks like a high knee. I don't see it. I think it looks more like a French baguette, but you know, to each their own. If you guys see it, let me know in the comment section. Maybe I'll change the name of the video. And see, I'm just smoothing out that top layer like I did on the other side. Okay, we got a good section going. I'm going to switch again. I know I keep changing up on you guys. And we're gonna start the process of folding it over. What you do is you take your fingers and you're gonna get a grip of it and just push it underward like that, like rolling it. Get it as tightly wound around there and neat, neatly please. Stick a pin through. You already have a lot of pins down here, so you have a lot to catch on to. And let's do the other side. You see, we're using this hair to cover up the pins. So depending on how tightly you roll it and how much you pull it, that's gonna determine how much gets covered. All right, and for the bottom section here, it's up to you. You could do like a half up, half down moment for the back part as well. Have like a ponytail piece hanging down, be like the Ronettes. Or you can put it full on upwards and get that Patsy from Ab Fab kind of effect. It's completely up to you. Get as creative as you want. And you are in complete control as to how much hair is really poking out of here and how big the beehive gets. And you can adjust that with your teasing comb. Just keep pulling up teasing until you get it to the desired height that you like. And what I decided is for this bottom portion, I want a ponytail sticking out. So I'm going to fold over the rest of this top portion here in the nape and then leave the very back hair hanging down that I'll tie together into a cute little ponytail. And what this does is by doing that, you don't have to put in like a hairline or anything. That way it doesn't give away too much the illusion that there's your boy hair peeking out. Another way to combat that, if you really want the hair all the way up, what you can do is you take some scissors 
and the very last pieces of the wig here, you trim them so that there's some little hairs hanging down there giving a more natural effect. But for the meantime, I'm gonna show you this hairstyle which is very easy to do. And basically go through it your fingers and your brush and clean it up, get a desired style that you like. Because honestly, all we're doing here is just creating presentation. That's half the fun of teasing, is just making it look cute after. Once you get all the stress of the teasing out of the way, the rest of it is just making it look pretty in your eyes. Now brush that out, get some of that hair wave texture back, take a little small piece from the back of the head, brush it out and smooth it out some. You don't have to get too crazy with it, because it's just gonna get wrapped around. All right, take a little pin. You could use a rubber band and then wrap this around it to hide that, but I'm just gonna do it with the hair for now. Take our smoothing brush and just clean up that bottom. All right, I know I still have this top here. What I'm gonna do is take this apart and tease it even more. Just pick little sections of it and jack it up as high as you desire. Because this is also gonna help to add to the height of the beehive. And what I've done before is I've taken a little piece of the bangs and cut bangs into it, like a straight Betty Page kind of bang. Or you can just go full hog wild and have the full on ice cream swirl bang. It's up to you. It's all a matter of taste. See, look at that. Same old, same old. We're gonna smooth out that surface. Going slow and draining it all the way up through the hair. Cause you see it brings back that wave of the texture. Bring it all the way up so you can see when you smooth it out and take it all the way through. It brings back that textured wave you had from setting it. Let's say we're just doing the surface. We're not pulling out teasing here. And just using your hands and the end of your comb, whatever you feel comfortable doing, just start molding it. One of the little tricks I like to do is, is the top portion here where you have all that teasing from the bang and the base of the head is I like to smooth it out in a round shape, going like that, like going around, wrapping around, and then rejoining it here in the front. And just keep messing with it until you get it the desired way you want it, or it looks pretty in your eyes. Again, the fun thing about beehives is that they can be as perfect or as sloppy as you want. If you want the full on like hair hopper 60s effects, like a girl that did her hair at home, then the sloppier and more messy and funky it is, the better. If you want like the Mary Wilson girl group kind of look, then the more perfection and the more smoothing you do. Just gotta figure out what you want. Do you want Tracy Turnblad or do you want Diana Ross? All right, what also helps is hairspray. Spray that down, get some of that in the hair and keep working your magic. Like I said before, I'm just brushing around in a circle at the top. That's just my little trick of doing this. And just drag that brush all the way through, like I said, it helps bring back that wave. All right, mixture of your brush and your fingers. Sometimes your fingers are the best styling tool. And another little thing that I learned that really works for me is, you take a bobby pin, and this little bang section right here, it always has a tendency to like pop up and get ruined whenever you start performing. You take a bobby pin and you tuck it in here and get some of the teasing and secure it down to the cap. And that way it's disguised in there enough where you won't see it, but it's gonna keep the hair still. Never underestimate the power of an intricately placed bobby pin. We'll take another one, grab a little bit of hair so it's not noticeable and stick it through and just disguise it with the hair. Nobody ever has to know. Half the fun of hairstyling is making people look and wonder, how in the world did she do that? And the rest is all just you smoothing it out and getting it pretty to your liking. A Little bit of hairspray. By a little bit, I mean a lot. Look around, look for certain sections that stick out to you. Certain things need to get fixed, like I got a little stray right here. Pin that down more. I guess it does look like a butt now that I look at it. Your glue spray. This is what's gonna help keep the stuff stiff. Smoothing brush and paste down any flyaways. All right, now you may look at it and think, hmm, I'd like a little more volume for my head. Well, what I do is I take the end of my comb, dig it in there, 
and gently pull up the teasing. And what this does is it adjusts the volume to your liking. You don't have to dig right up in there and rip it up. You're just sticking it in slowly and pushing it upward. Know your own strength. Don't be a barbarian about it. Just bear in mind, if you do this too hard or too much, you may pull the bobby pins in the back out and you might have to re-secure it, but it's up to you. You can even do the top as well. Get it as poofy and up to God as much as possible. And there we are, a beehive that says hallelujah. Now I'm gonna go try this hair on and I'll be back shortly and show you the final result. Well, this is it, kittens. What do you think? Very fun hair. It's great if you're dabbling in pageant hair. It's a very easy updo to do with your wigs, and it only requires one wig. Also, if you don't like the little ponytail bit, what you can do is take a bobby pin and just wrap it up into a bun and pin it in. That way you have a little bun here, bun here, bun everywhere. <laughs> bun in the oven. Now, in this video, I use black bobby pins for your viewing pleasure because it's easier to see. But if you're going to do this hairstyle, I recommend you get bobby pins that are in the same color. Or if you are going to have them showing, they do make decorative ones too with little stones and stuff on them. So, get creative, experiment, have fun with it. Now, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And comment down below and let me know what you want to see next. I am listening. Until next time, bye. Click here and see my divine makeup tutorial or see my pink fantasy look. Come on, click it. If you don't click it, I'll tell Emma Stone about your weird shrine to her. Come on, click it.